How might we respond when a calling becomes a career? When a passion becomes just an interest? Or when something that fulfills us merely just satisfies us? We can choose to conform or we can choose to change. This year, I took the biggest leap of my life because I wasn't willing to conform and I wasn't willing to settle for a career. So, I sold my home in Maine, we hopped in the car, and we headed west to California. What I learned about electricity is that the red marker. You see, um, blue, we need red, which we got, mm -hmm. yellow, and we got blue and Show me. Here, so look it. You and guys are practicing graphing for this. Is and then a blue arrow, uh, and then the green arrow, and then the blue arrow. It's about the way that teachers teach. And I love the flexibility of it. I love the uh, vocabulary of the kids. I love the choices that they had. And I was really inspired by how uh, the teachers were enthused, the students were happy and enthused. Uh, they seemed like they were in charge. They were very uh, 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 thought driven. In particular, I was impressed with the children and how the children could actually reflect on how they were learning and what they were learning and as a result of what. Sometimes in life, when you love something so much, you've got to have the audacity to find your people. The kind of people who feed your soul, who make you better and challenge your thinking. Some of those people for me are the ADE community. I hope to see you in Houston.